Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Repton The Lost Realms. We are now on screen E of Katie Rosane's Vivace levels. Thankfully, this, <laughs> this one has a decent amount of time. I feel maybe I should make a few um, remarks about low time and limit levels after the previous one, because maybe I was complaining a little bit too much. Now, I do not hate low time limit levels. In fact, I've made a couple of them. And I also had a lot of fun on Africa Screen F, which is one of the lowest time limits in the original game. Um, I've had a lot of fun lowering the time limit further and seeing just how far I could push it. However, um, both that and my own low time limit levels were on the PC version of Repton 3. Um, and there is a difference there. Um, so it doesn't flash, for one thing. It also has the time limit on display in the HUD at all times. So... If you are running from one time capsule to the next, you can get an idea of whether you're going to make it quite a long time before you arrive. You are not caught off guard by suddenly dying. <laughs> so those factors did make playing the last level a little bit more stressful. And again, doing it for the let's play, I was a bit worried that maybe the flashing would be off-putting for viewers more than it was for me. But yes, this level set has definitely gotten to the point where the levels are getting tough. So, let's see what Katie put in a level that she thought could come after that one. <laughs> Uh, right from the start, Monster is out, so let's put the map on so we can plan how to kill it. And... <laughs> oh, this is nice. Um, so, any Repton aficionado would recognise this. It is based on the first level of Repton 2, the hub level from which all the other levels are reached by transporters. Um, of course, Lost Realms has a limit on, on the number of transporters, so uh, most of them have been replaced by diamonds or other things. There's there's a lot of layout differences from the original level, but enough of it is there that it's just so clear <laughs> what this is based on, and I really like that. Um I see a couple of ways I could kill this monster. So there's a balloon just below and left of Repton that I could use. But if I get behind that balloon, then... Um, actually, no. I think, I think that's a good thing to do. Um, so... By the way, um, absorbency is just one. Okay. So I can't push the balloon any further or it would go up and trap some things. What I can do is push this egg, quickly grab the freeze pill, push that um, rock and come round the other side. And now when the, mon when the egg hatches, I can kill this monster as well. Yeah, definitely I'm I'm pleased by the use of the freeze pill in these levels so far. It's um, Lost Realm's least used item, but occasionally it has its uses. So, let's plan a route around the level. Um, there is a key top right corner. There are some safes. There are cages, but I don't yet know where the spirits are. I have a suspicion that some of them are in the top left behind the 
absorbency doors which are in the places of the guardian skulls in the original Repton 2 level. And that's correct. Okay, so without losing anything, I can open this door, grab this and get a new pill. I maybe should have left the pill. Um, it's, it's okay because I can grab that one after I've opened a door. Um... What do I know about the cages? Okay, so three yellow, then three blue. So if I release a blue, it will go through the yellow cages and cage in one of the blue cages now. Other than those six, are there cages anywhere else? There is a blue uh, under the three balloons in the middle. Okay, don't yet know how that's going to interact with the puzzle. Now, because this is bouncing in a thing of only two squares. It's going to be a little tricky. I maybe shouldn't have let both of them out because now I don't have absorbency. Hmm. And whichever way I go, there's... Rocks and balloons making it hard to navigate. For example, I see that if I push either of these rocks down, then it lands at what is probably the exit from the bottom left area. So I would need to... I would need to get down there. Um... I could do that by going around these rocks after I've gotten the key. But to get the key, I need... I need another absorber lean. Now, where is there one that's free to get before getting the key? Um, I want to get over to the right hand side of the level. But here I'm not sure what to do about these rocks. If I release the rocks, then three of them come down and I can, and I would have to um, push one of them left to get out of this chamber. And uh, that's okay, but it doesn't let me get past. But I can't, um, I could let the balloon roll off the diamond. If I'm okay with leaving it there, but then how do I get out of this area? I may need to... I may need to clear some space around this time bomb and then do the famous uh, Repton 2 um, multiple shuffle with balloons instead of rock. And I messed it, messed it up. Well, let's leave that for now and see where this transporter goes. There's one of our yellow spirits. Oh, transporter goes here. So I can't take that until all three blue cages are open. So... Each spirit that I release costs one absorbency and doesn't give one back. So to release them, I definitely need to find a third absorbaline pill. Can I get past the Repton Shuffle with the four rocks?
that looks very different from how it was in Repton 2, and it also... So there's also the problem that to get to that area, I have to release a balloon, which is going to land here. And that blocks me, unless I can push the rock down to the left, where it lands here. And maybe I can do that and still get those diamonds later. Ah, there's our last blue spirit. That didn't work. I'm not sure how I'm meant to do that shuffle. Or if I'm meant to do it at all. So I've tried um, doing this Repton shuffle a few times and I don't think it's possible to do it in any way that avoids trapping the diamond below. So maybe I just need to leave that part until later. Um, one thing I want to try. So I mentioned I don't think pushing that down there can be part of the solution. It does give me access to a bit more of the level. And I now know where two more of the yellow spirits are. Actually, both the remaining yellow spirits. There should only be three. Um, if so, that would mean there are seven in total, and that is correct. Okay. So I just wanted to know where that went. Um, hmm. Well, that does allow me to get the diamond here without the balloon trapping it. But that has not helped me access any more absorbaline. There are no more transporters I have access to, since I don't think I can do the two above the Repton shuffle. Um, I am quite stumped, I'm, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> okay, um, here's an idea, and in fact, let me reload. So, if I um, roll this balloon off the diamond and then push it left, that could be okay if I can still um, get to the top area, which would mean having pushed this balloon left. So, maybe... Um, I don't necessarily have to get these now, but maybe it helps. We'll see whether everything else can still be collected later. So that would allow me to do this shuffle, get that absorbaline, and get out. So. So, in fact, only one had to come up here, although two could have done without blocking anything. Um, anything... Okay, the transporter is there, which I know um, I have to leave until after I've... Uh, 
after I've released all three spirits, which I just now realised that I cannot do because I took the absorbing pill on the far right before spending one. So, just a moment and I'll get back to this position. <laughs> oh dear. Um, so I let one of the spirits out, got the other absorbaline, and forgot that this pill would be in the way. But that's actually okay, because I can open this door, then get the pill. Then get this pill. In fact, I may as well get that now as well. Hmm. There's another set of five doors corresponding to the other set of guardian skulls, so those will be in the way. Now, wait, of course, for the spirit to cage before taking the transporter. There we go. Okay, that comes here. So don't forget that I've taken an absorbency, absorbaline pill. Um, how many more are on the level? Only four. So I have to um, spend them on the top doors and I cannot open any of the TLR doors at the bottom. This little puzzle is simple enough. And now the question is, how much does the level unravel now that I have got the key? So I'll take this diamond to unblock that area. Um, I can access... Okay, I can access the area with the... Um, under the four rocks, so I don't need to shuffle them at all. I could release the spirits there, but first, um, yes. If I go back here, take these diamonds so that I can move this rock out of the way. Now these balloons can... Well, I was thinking that they would um, all go to the left. I didn't realise that this barrier is not curved. So. Has that... That has unblocked the cage, so now I can release both spirits. Have to do it one at a time because I have to bring the absorbency back to the doors. So, maybe this level isn't nearly as bad as it looked at first. Maybe it does all unravel once you've worked out how to get the key. Get that diamond, of course. To let the next yellow spirit in. I will still have um, problems with the four rocks here, maybe, unless... Um, now, if I leave those until after I've released these rocks, then those rocks falling will not block anything. Now, if I release the rocks and take that diamond, then the spirit would have um, been in trouble. But doing things in that order... Oh, um... Time running low. Um, time capsule, bottom left, um, in one of the spirit enclosures, 
And entering that enclosure from this side means I will have a bit of trouble with um, the diamond directly above the balloon, but we already worked out that I can solve that trouble. I'll first push that rock so that I'm not forced into pushing it right. We can get that diamond safely from this side. And now I have time capsule access. Yep. I also have access to this transporter, which I won't use yet because I don't know where it goes. Also, I think it's likely that the idea of the puzzle below is to um, is is to me make a way through the the bottom after letting this rock fall and blocking the passage, but I could be wrong there. Um, I do have absorbency right now, so let's go and spend it. Okay, there's just one more. I think I know where the last pill is. Um, I saw it behind the other blue cage, the one down here. Okay, when I get this balloon, the uh, when I get this rock, the balloon will float up to the. Um, that's okay and does not block anything. Maybe the biggest problem in the rest of the level is going to be how to deal with all the monsters. Um, this rock is free, so if I can get a monster to end up in position behind it, then I have a bit of luck. Otherwise, I could lure the monsters up and kill them when I release the four rocks above. That works for one of them, at least. There's also all the monsters in the bottom right corner, and I think I'm going to go and do those now because that's the one area where I know um, the spirit is not. Um, okay, it's okay for the... It's okay for this balloon to come up. That doesn't trap me. Oh, I see what to do. This is actually really simple, I think. So, just like rocks have priority, eggs also do. <laughs> And I just realised in time that that corner diamond was going to be trapped. Now I can release the remaining spirit, which is... Um, which is in this little cranny. I can get those diamonds now. Of course, I'll leave the one blocking the fungus. Um, there was a point, yes, if I go around and move that balloon now, it will speed up the spirit's journey. And that gives the spirit enough time to come out of the bottom area, so. Um, I don't want to release the right-hand balloon because then the rock will fall and trap that diamond. What happens if I push a balloon out? Nothing bad, so. Huh. All that's left, really, is... Okay, and I now have a pretty foolproof way of killing the monsters with the balloon, so... 
One of them with the rocks and one with the balloon. I may not need to take any of the remaining transporters. Which is good, because I don't like having to make guesses at this late stage in playing a level. Although, how are we for time? 2,000? Okay, um, so I mustn't dawdle. Um, all that's left, really, is solving the bottom left area, which looks tricky. I think I should check where the transporter goes, because it might be harmless. <laughs> and I'll look silly if it is. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I'm ashamed to say at this stage, I do not even remember whether that correlates to that transporter's destination in Repton 2. Or, well, <laughs> obviously in Repton 2 that goes to another level, but the return transporter from that level. Um, so. How to deal with this area. Uh, I could let all the balloons up. But I think if I do that, I'm going to have problems with the rocks. I could try um, going down past the rightmost balloon, so letting just that one come up. Does that let me get all the diamonds later, though? I'm not convinced. Um, in fact, no, it definitely doesn't, because I would then have to push the balloon left to where Repton is now, uh, blocking this passage. But I can only use the um, bottom exit once, Unless I do some magic with those rocks. Um, this is this is very tricky. I, w I want to show something quickly, and I've made a save state to allow myself to show this. So this really illustrates why I always push myself to find solutions without losing a life. Because if you allow yourself to lose a life on this puzzle, um, it's really simple. And... Having done that, of course, I could now go on to complete the level trivially, just grab the remaining diamonds, and I think the only... No, there are two time bombs, one in the corner and one where the status character was in Repton 2. And as you can see, absorbency is retained on death. So that, 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 that shows that if you allow yourself to lose lives, you can complete levels 
without really engaging in the puzzles the way they were intended to be engaged with. So that shows why I am so firm in my commitment to completing all levels without losing a life. So I've solved this last puzzle off camera, um, for which I apologise. <laughs> I think if I had done it on camera, it would have been not the most uh, scintillating entertainment. I didn't check exactly how long this has taken me, but it's been a long time of trying every possibility, as well as thinking about the puzzle, trying out the remaining two transporters just in case. <laughs> so... One um, issue is that there are quite a lot of red herrings. I'll show off a couple of things that can be done. So if I um, release the balloons on the left-hand side and push this one, then it's actually possible to get all the balloons to rest in a stable formation that keeps this passage open. Of course, it's then not possible to get these two diamonds without pushing that balloon, and then the rocks will fall down here. So that has nothing to do with the correct solution. Another red herring, taking that diamond to let the rocks down, and then letting them roll off the balloons like that. I can push both of them all the way into the corner to give myself some space. And it's just not enough space. If I had one more empty space, I could let this rock down, push it under this rock and go through. So rather counterintuitively, I actually want to take both these diamonds and let the rocks fall down like that. But then what? Well, actually, I think now I see a simpler solution than what I did before. So, if I push the rocks, as before, out of the way, then I can take this step left, and the rocks stay in a stack, so my exit is not blocked. Okay. <laughs> Silly puzzle. So... Overall, this hasn't been a very hard level, but that puzzle um, definitely is up there with any of the rock and balloon puzzles in the Dave Jeffrey levels. I'm going to unblock the fungus now. Don't need to come back, back past here again. Then up to take these diamonds, which should be the last ones. And both transporters actually go to helpful places near the other time bomb. But the left-hand one is better. Uh, the other one goes into the alcove just below. And we're done. There is only one more level left for this set. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.